Our company was founded in 1904, and my great-grandfather came through Ellis Island and found his way here to Cincinnati, uh, lived in a halfway house, and um, sanded pianos, and his roommate actually had a hand press, and he bought it off him and started making business cards. And he didn't even speak English. People had to write what they wanted on a card and give it to him, and he'd print it. Um, and then he he uh, didn't have a couldn't afford a shop, so he put up a sign downtown between two buildings in an alley, um, and he started our business you know, 111 years ago. Uh, and I think that's a testament to the city. You know, I think I think it wasn't only him, but there were thousands of people who came over uh, and and started their own businesses from nothing. The advice I would give if somebody wants to launch their own business, to be prepared for the ups and downs that inevitably come, um, and to not let the downs um, keep you from trying and keep you from continuing to rethink and recreate, because the exciting part about being an entrepreneur is you are constantly creating the future. Plan on about half the revenues, twice the expense, and however long you think it takes to get up and be profitable, you might want to pad that with a little extra time can't plan for the unexpected and it seems like there's a whole bunch of those unexpected to just start the business. Uh, meeting my current business partner uh, Dan Meyer uh, six or seven years ago really uh, changed the trajectory of um, my professional life and my business. Uh, he had sold a business that had licensed some brands from P&G, and I was working in consulting and private equity, uh, looking to buy some brands from P&G, and we met uh, through a mutual friend at, at Proctor. And uh, Dan shared with me his passion about uh, starting a business that could positively impact uh, people's lives, and that really resonated with me. I think Steve Jobs said it best, that you need to do what you love. And if you do what you love, it's like you'd never work a day in your life. And, you know, I think all the way down to my core that I was born to do what I'm doing. I mean, that's why I think I'm so happy. is because this is all I've ever wanted to do, which is run my family's business. Um, and uh, and it's, all, it's the last thing I think about before I go to bed. It's the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. Um, I, I think about it constantly. And, uh, and I just love it, and, and I feel that uh, if that's what you do, if, if that's what you're passionate about, and it can be anything, whatever it is, um, then, then you will feel like, you know, I mean, yeah, I regret getting up in the morning. I mean, that's the only thing I regret, is having to wake up, because I'm tired, you know? But beyond being tired, you know, actually getting up and going to work, no, I love that, I, I, and I think I always will. I think just the drive, just the excitement of being able to every day get up and know that I can create the future of the company and the people I work with, um, that gives me the energy and the passion and excitement to, to keep going. Uh, even when sometimes I'm overwhelmed or tired, um, just knowing that every day is a day that I can make something new happen gets me going. Yeah, my, uh really uh, spends a lot of time investing in our employees and helping them change their lives. It's integral to our mission, um, which is creating jobs and changing lives. And we do that by providing people with second chances. So whether they have a felony in their background or a history of drug addiction or some other barrier to employment, uh, we welcome them in. And as long as they've made that decision to turn their life around and they're willing to show up on time and work hard, uh, we'll give them every opportunity that we can uh, to succeed. I think our company is making a difference in people's lives by just the work that we do each and every day. We're in the technology business. We put in phone systems and data networks that people are, are relying on each and every day to conduct business. And by the work we do, we can help them improve customer satisfaction, increase employee productivity, um, help them plan for uh, disaster recovery or business continuity situations. So with technology driving so much of what we do today, it feels good that we genuinely are going in and helping companies improve the way they do business.
first and foremost, it, um, some tenacity uh, that you're not going to give up because it's really hard and there's a lot of really hard moments, so you have to have that tenacity. Um, certainly, you need to be comfortable with risk uh, and know how to deal with that. Um, and then you just have to have a lot of internal self-drive uh, to keep yourself going because when you're the entrepreneur, uh, you don't necessarily have a boss. You might have a client, you might have other people you answer to, but you have to keep yourself going each and every day. I think it uh, requires uh, you know, passion for one. You, know, you really need to have a lot of passion about what you're doing because as you're uh, starting a company, um, you're going to have to have a lot of energy to uh, fight through some of the challenges you'll face. And then also you need to kind of be the leader of the team and, and have people follow your energy and passion. Um, second along those same lines is perseverance. Uh, you know, being an entrepreneur can be lonely at times and uh, you can face a lot of challenges and um, you just have to persevere and fight through uh, those tough times uh, in order to succeed. I'm almost certain that I'd still be an entrepreneur. I don't know that I'd be consulting on telecommunication services or selling those kinds of services to uh, businesses, but I would certainly be selling something. I like the, the dynamic day-to-day uh, -day life of always meeting with different companies, different people, all, all of the unique situations and unique, unique experiences you have as a result of being an entrepreneurial and some sort of sales capacity. You're out and about a lot. I get exposed to a lot of the things going on in the city. So it makes for a really uh, fun day-to-day -day experience. I never have to worry about looking at the clock thinking the days are going too slow, but rather the inverse. I'm interested in all kinds of things, um, but I would think I would probably be doing something for myself if I wasn't working for myself right now. Uh, I don't think I see myself as a big corporation just because I'm not a big corporation kind of guy. Uh, um, I think I maybe would be working at Disney World, which is a place that I absolutely love uh, and go to often. Um, uh, it, it aligns right there with the things that I feel are important in life. Um, I don't know, I might sell cars because I love cars. Uh, I love to buy cars, I love to sell cars. Uh, I do it for my employees, I do it for myself. I do it for my friends, I do it for my family. Uh, that, that might be an option. Uh, you know, but in the end, really, there is nothing, ever anything but, but working for the business. Mm -hmm.